Hello visitors, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Lazy Learners in the series of battle presentation. Today I am in front of you with my fifth battle, a very important battle of World War II. The name is Battle of Imphal Kohima. The famous battle of Imphal and Kohima was fought between the Japanese and Allied forces during World War II from 9 March to 19 August 1944 in the center sector of Indo Burma Theater. It was correctly been named as Springboard, from which the final offensive for the total annihilation of the Japanese forces were launched. That resulted ultimate recapture of the whole Burma. Allied interest or strategic aims of the Allied forces to keep an overland supply route to China and keeping China in the war with the Allies. With the invasion of Burma by the Japanese, the Burma road from Rangoon to Yunnan was cut off and China was cut off from all surface communication. But China was fully dependent on US supply of war material. When the war between Japan and China held almost one third of total Japanese land forces engaged. Thus, it was very important to keep China in war with allies and therefore an overland supply route from India to China and its security was very essential. For this, the northern Burma had to be captured from Japanese. The, to secure the hump road, opening an overland supply route through India to China was a long term project but important for immediate supply and replenishment. The hump year route over the Himalayan ranges had to be opened and therefore its security was vital. Thus, it was important to capture the northern Burma from Japanese occupation. To reconquest the lost territory of British Empire. This is obvious because Burma was a British colony and its loss would have certainly encouraged other colonies to revolt for independence. To reconquest the complete Southeast Asia using Burma as a launching pad. Reconquest of Burma would certainly provide a tactical viable launching pad for subsequent operations to reconquest other occupied territory like Indochina, Borneo, Malaya, Singapore, etc. To defend the Indian subcontinent. Defense of Burma was then key for the defense of Indian subcontinent, the largest British empire. It was also to be ensured that the Japanese does not get the opportunity to secure any kind of peace with the allies by virtue of possessing this large mainland empire. To enjoy the geostrategic importance of Burma. Burma was an important link in the route from Britain to Australia. There was an important airport at Rangoon and many leading roads and air services also. Thus, defense of this leg of the air route was strategically important for Britain. To draw Japanese forces from the Pacific to facilitate rapid US success in the Pacific. War in Burma and also keeping China in war against Japan would have drawn more Japanese forces and their war material towards the theater. These would have been weakened the Japanese forces in the Pacific and facilitate rapid US success. Now, the Slim's assessment of Japanese intention in January-February 1944. 
the main offensive would be launched by Japanese 15 core in the center front led by Mutaguchi with 15, 31 and 33 division and one Ayana division, one tank regiment and other troops. There might be another division which was not identified in reserve. Japanese objectives would be to capture Imphal first and then secondly to break through to the Brahmaputra valley so as to cut off the northern front and distribute air supply to China. The Japanese would isolate the forward formations and then destroy them in detail. They would attempt with a reinforced division to get behind both of 17 division on the Tidim Imphal road and 20 division along Tamu Patil road. In the meantime, other Japanese columns amounting to two divisions would cross the Chindin near Homeland and Thangat. Make for Imphal via Ukrul. A Japanese regiment would be poised to Kohima to cut the Kohima Dimapur road and threaten the Dimapur beige. The offensive would begin about the 15th March. Now, the course is open to Slim to defeat Japanese plan. Or he had three options. Number one, to cross the Chindin river and attack enemy first. Second, to hold the enemy across the Chinin line and destroy them while crossing. And last one, to draw the enemy around the Imphal plain and fight a decisive battle. So the Slim's plan. 17 division located at Tidin to withdraw rapidly once the Japanese attack develops and form a core reserve at Imphal leaving behind a brigade group some 40 miles south of Imphal to block the Japanese advance. 20 Indian division was to withdraw from its forward position in Kabao Valley and hold the Shenam Pass dominating the Imphal Shitalang Road. 23rd division to fall back to Imphal leaving one brigade group at Ukhrul to form core offensive reserve at Imphal with part of 17 Indian Division, 50 Para Brigade and 254 Tank Brigade. Key Aspects of the Allied Plan General Slim intended to allow Japanese to advance to the edge of the Imphal Plains and when committed in assault on the prepared position at Imphal would be counter attack and destroyed by the mobile striking forces, strong in artillery, armored and aircraft. Both the outlying divisions 17 and 20 had to withdraw back to Imphal intact without any resistance from other formations or core reserve. Formations of core reserve were dependent on the time of arrival of committed formations away from Imphal and their success in making a clean break. Japanese offensive on the Imphal Kohima front in 1944. Yugo plan. The attack on Imphal and Kohima was to be carried out by 15 Japanese army commander Lieutenant General Mutaguchi. The essence of Yugo plan was 31 Japanese division which was led by Lieutenant General Sato the division was to cross the Chindin on the night 15 to 16 March 1944, overrun Ukrul and seize Kohima. Sato was then to send a column to help the attack on Imphal. 15 Japanese division. The division was to cross the Chindin on the same night, sending an advance guard via Ukrul to cut the Imphal Kohima road at Kangla Tumbi. The main body was to seize the high ground north of the Imphal plain and attack Imphal from north in conjunction 
with an assault from the south by 33 division. Thirty-three Japanese division was to start the operation a week earlier than the other two divisions in order to draw Allied reserve away from Imphal and Kohima. The main force was to cut the Tidim road behind 17 division, destroy it and attack Imphal from the south. Yamamoto force Right column of 33 division and Aina formation were to drive 20 division from Tamu road and attack Patel and Imphal from the southeast. So Japanese offensive. The Japanese 33 division started the offensive on 9 March 1944 with thrust aimed at cutting off Kaunan's 17 division. The withdrawal order was given to 17 division on 13 March 1944. Before 17 division could withdraw, the Japanese had set up a number of roadblocks in the rear of the division near Tongjang. Two brigades of 23 Indian division supported by RAF fighter were sent as reinforcement. After fighting a series of battles, 17 division managed to withdraw to Imphal on 5 April 1944. On night 15 to 16 March 1944, Yamamoto force advanced from the south towards Tamupatel. Despite fierce fighting, 20 Indian division conducted much more orderly withdrawal to Senam by 2 April 1944. On 1 April 1944, 32 brigade of this division was pulled out as core reserve to battle. Meanwhile, Japanese 31 division crossed Chindin in three columns from homeland and attacked on Ukrul on 19 March which was captured by 26 March 1944. Anticipating the situation, Slim brought five Indian division by year from Arakan to Imphal as reinforcement during 19 to 29 March 1944. 15 Japanese division crossed Chindin on 15 to 16 March at Thangat. On 29 March 1944, Cut off the Ukrul Imphal Road at south of Ukrul. It then turned southwest against Imphal. At the same time, 31 Japanese division established a roadblock on the Imphal Kohima Road. Thus, except for the Bishnipur Silchar track to the west, Imphal was cut off. 31 Japanese divisions successful penetration to the north had by now created a more dangerous situation at Kohima. Appreciating this situation, Slim ordered to bring 33 Corps, which was led by Lt. Gen. Stockford, from India to take command of the Dimapur Kohima area with two British Division, two 68 Infantry Brigade, and two tank regiments. On 26 March 1944, 161 Brigade of 5 Indian Division was flown to Dimapur to plug the gap until 33 Corps could get into position. To further strengthen the Central Front, Slim also ordered the move of 7 Indian Division from Arakan and distribute 2 brigades to join 33 Corps at Dimapur and 3rd Brigade to 4 Corps at Imphal. Slim also pulled Wingate's 23 Brigade from India to Jorhat to cover the Ledo Railway and for use to support Dimapur. On 4 April 1944, Japanese attack on Kohima started. General Stockford sent forward two British division to join 161 Brigade. On 24 April 1944, seizure of Kohima was over. On 9 April 1944, the Bishnipur Silchat track 
had been cut off by 33 Japanese division. On 11 April 1944, the Japanese seized Nangshingham Hill, only 6 miles west of Imphal airfield. It was the most dangerous threat for the maintenance of four core. Therefore, Schoon's reserve pondered quickly and recaptured Nangshingham Hill on 13 April. The Counter Offensive on night 5 to 6 June 1944, the great Aradura Spar, 2 to 3 miles south of Kohima, was captured. The Battle of Kohima was over. 33 Corps with 2 British Division and 7 Indian Division drove down south to link up with 4 Corps. By the 1st of June 1944, 5 Indian Division recaptured Kangla Tongbi and advanced northward to meet 33 Corps. On 22 June 1944, two British division and five Indian division joined hands 20 miles north of Imphal. The battle for Imphal was over and the isolation of four Corps was ended. By 1 July 1944, Ukrul was encircled and on 8 July 1944, it was captured by 7 and 20 Indian Division and 23 LRP Brigade. 23 Indian Division reinforced with 5 Brigade of 2 British Division and 268 Indian Brigade advanced along Tamu Patel Road and captured Tamu on 4 August 1944. The order for Japanese 15th Army to withdraw back to Chindin was given on 9 July 1944, by which time Japanese 15 and 31 divisions were completely uprooted. On 19 August 1944, the last organized Japanese units left India. So this was all about the battle. Now, if you want to learn the causes of Japanese defeat, there are a number of causes, right? Fighting without reserve. Mutagachi committed all his forces in the opening move on his offensive, keeping no reserve for exploitation of success. So, this was one of the important causes for Japanese defeat. Like this, there are a number of points like over-optimism, lack of intelligence, overstressed line of communication, rigidity in planning, lack of air power, numerical inferiority, lack of coordination between central and southern front. Number of points to learn the lessons like the principles of war, air support, enemy must never be underestimated, sound logistic plan, use of reserve, over optimistic plan must be avoided, Timely withdrawal should be made to conserve combat power for future operations, air supremacy, efficient admin setup, flexibility in plan and education, cutting off or encirclement of troops does not mean defeat or surrender, training of troops, moral, cooperation, all other points are also very important to learn from this battle. So, if you want to get the word document of this presentation, you can get it, the link given below, www.multibattles.tk. If you want to learn this battle elaborately, you can visit this link. And if you want to learn other battles, which I have prepared, you can visit the third link. So if you like my video or my channel, you can subscribe, that will help me and you can get the upcoming battle presentations information if you subscribe me. Thank you gentlemen, thank you all.